Welcome to my channel. My name is Tan if you're new. In today's video, we have a unit that was sent over from Divatress.com. Today's unit is from the brand Outre, and it's actually one of their newer units. It's from the like 360 lace collection. I got her in the style Marissa and in the color DRFF2 slash ginger brown. If you want to find out my thoughts and opinions on this unit, continue to watch. But before we get into the video, make sure you're subscribed and also make sure you follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They're both at Tan Dodson. Let's get into the install. Okay, so let's talk about Miss Marissa from Altre. The cap construction is your typical cap construction with one comb in the back, two combs in the front, the adjustable straps, and then the security band as well. The thing that's not so common about her is the 360 lace. This is a 13 by 6 unit, which I absolutely love, but the 360 lace, let's talk about it. I personally don't see the point in it. I get that you're supposed to be able to do multiple styles with the unit, such as pulling it up into a ponytail or a bun, but honestly, there's more lace than there is hair attached to the lace, so again... I don't see the point. The front versus the back lace on this unit are completely different. Well, the texture wise is. On the back lace, it's very stretchy and the front lace, it's not extremely stretchy, but it puts me in the mind of the perfect hairline and the melted hairline lace texture. Now, I personally like the lace that comes on the melted hairline and the perfect hairline collections, but the lace that's in the back of these 360 frontal lace units, I'm just, I don't see the point in them. I mean, like, it's not making the cap any more stretchier. So, again, what's the point? Now, the specs according to the stock card says that it has a premium human hair blend, 360 all around hand tied lace edges, 13 by 6 HD lace frontal, pre plugged hairline with a natural shape, full temple coverage, and side to side side to side and sideburn to sideburn hand tied lace and a pre-attached elastic band for a flat fit. I would agree with everything that's listed here on the stock card. The one thing that sticks out the most to me is it says a pre-plugged hairline with a natural shape. I think they did an amazing job with plucking this unit. As soon as I pulled her out of the package I was like oh yeah. I'm not going to have to pluck anything, which I can't lie, I was a little bit bummed about because I have been trying to pluck my units more nowadays and I didn't have to pluck anything. So I was like bummed about that, but at the same time, I was really excited about it as well. 
The texture of this unit to me seems more so of a light yakky type of texture. The density of her, I would probably say that she's about a 150-180% density unit. Like she's not overly thick but she's also not overly thin. The color and the styling of her really puts me in the mind of Lynette I want to say. But the only thing is like this is thicker than Lynette. According to the stock card, this unit is 24 inches. Now I'm around 5'7", so when I push all of the hair to the front, she hits me right up underneath my boobs. But when I push all of the hair straight to the back, I want to say it hits me like right below my mid-back. So I feel like she's a good length for everyday usage. This unit does come in a wide variety of colors, and I want to say about six or seven of those colors are specialty colors. I'll make sure to pop it up here somewhere on the screen. Now as far as tangling and shedding goes, I'm not not really getting any shedding from the unit but I am getting some tangling especially if I try to manipulate the unit too much but I mean that's a given this is a synthetic unit so or it's a human hair blended synthetic unit so I expect the tangling to happen at some point <laughs> Speaking of manipulating the unit though let's see how this unit will look in a few styles. Now I know those weren't the neatest of styles and honestly I don't even know if I'm going to include that footage in this video but I just kind of wanted you to see what you can do with this unit if you choose to do so. Me personally I won't be doing any of those with this unit or I might do the half up half down. That was really cute to me but anything else the full ponytail the full updo ponytail I probably won't be doing that because I have a fear of the back lifting up. Even if you do utilize the comb that's in the back which that's pretty much the only comb that I tend to use but the back is still going to lift up and I'm sorry but I don't want the back of my wig lifted. Now I know somebody's probably going to say use the comb that's in the back tan. I actually do. That's the only comb that I actually use within most if not all of my units but the back still is going to lift whenever you add any type of tension so I don't want that happening. <laughs> I almost forgot to mention the fit of this unit and to me she's fitting amazing. I would definitely say that she's big head friendly. I know a lot of people were saying that Max Amino wasn't big head friendly but to me personally she felt great <laughs> on my head. I actually did a review on that unit so I'll make sure to leave the thumbnail for it right here and then I'll also make sure to link the video in the cards up above. I don't know why I looked up like that but okay. <laughs> Lastly, let's talk about the price of this unit. On DivaTress.com, she does retail for $97.99, but if you plan on picking up one of the specialty colors, expect to pay about a $2 upcharge. Now, I can't lie, that is very pricey for this unit, or at least in my opinion it is, but seeing as how this is a human hair blended unit, it comes very well pre-plugged. It has a very nice length, density, and texture to her, and I know to somebody out there, the 360 lace frontal unit is going to be a big wow factor. To me personally, I don't I don't get it I don't understand it but hey to each his own I do appreciate the 13 by 6 feature in this unit because it gives it a very realistic feel to her to somebody out there that price is going to be more than justifiable is that even a word but hey you guys let me know what you think down in the comments below if you enjoyed this video please give me a big thumbs up also make sure you subscribe before you leave and also make sure you click the bell that way you're notified anytime that I upload a video Follow me on Instagram and TikTok. They're both at Tan Dotson. I'll be sure to leave a direct link to this unit in the description box below. So make sure you check that out. I don't have anything else to say though. Except for I will see you guys in the next one. Bye.